which GPS of which smartphone is the best? The uh, Galaxy Samsung A32 or the iPhone XR? Let's find it out. Let's ask the wizard which GPS on which smartphone is the best? Of course, it's the Samsung Abs Galaxy A32. Absolutely not. It will be the iPhone XR. It's a Samsung. It's an iPhone. It's a Samsung. Apple is better. No, Android. Yes, Apple, Samsung. iOS. Pfft. Samsung. Apple, iOS. Wait, Wait, let's check it out. And I have a surprise. Surprise? Yes, surprise. The oh. one that loses will get this bucket over his head. The bucket challenge. <laughs> yes. So, in this video, I'm going to use my own iPhone, the iPhone XR. As you can see, it's already a little bit broken. It's an older model. You know, the battery uh, lasts uh, three hours and I can recharge it. Uh, yeah, well, and it's big. But again, I think it's better than the Android Samsung. This is the Samsung Galaxy A32. And this is my phone. Of course, it looks better than Ray's phone. And for sure, it has a better GPS than his iPhone. He's crazy. <laughs> so, how are we going to check if this Samsung has a better GPS than his iPhone, which is for sure. Apple, okay. So, we will compare the GPS of the Samsung and his iPhone with a professional surveying kit. Okay. Let's see how you produce a professional surveying kit. Ready? Okay, so, what do we need? First of all, uh, yeah, uh, of course, the, the rocket tablet. In our case, it's the Apple's armor. Sorry, I dropped it, but it's rocket. We need uh, a holder, of course, otherwise uh, the tablet will, uh, will fall. And in this case, I am using the Amlet Reach RS2 as the GNS receiver. And of course, we need a rod. So, I need the wizard a little bit to assist me because otherwise I have to pick everything up. So, the wizard Hello. is there. Yes. So, if you can please mount those two uh, rods together. I will do Mounting. my best. Yeah. I will do my best. Okay. Let's put this one on top of the other one. Oh, I'm so glad I'm assisting you. I'm your assistant. <laughs> then we're going to mount the Amlet Recharge 2 on top of the rod. Yes. And we turn it on. Yes. Press the on button. Then we are going to mount the holder, the tablet holder. Thanks, uh, my best assistant, for helping me out. <laughs> then we are going to insert the tablet in the tablet holder and press on. So, connected. Already the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Very, very, very well <laughs> Sorry. connected. Oops. Uh, and then the most important ingredient of this test. Can you hold this? Please. Okay. Tape. Yeah, tape. We need tape to mount the iPhone and the Android smartphone. Let's use this tape. Th this is double-sided yes. stuff yes okay <laughs> so my iPhone needs to be yes your iPhone needs to be on this rod okay strange no very functional this double -sided. this will take at least five minutes that's how you do it fast forward let's mount the iPhone. Let's <laughs> mount the Android smartphone. This this is the most cheapest thing I've ever seen mounting <laughs> some phone to a rod. Okay. It works. It, it works. works. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, really uh, perfect. Yeah, okay. So, next. So, now. Yeah. We're ready to test. 
test. Except for one thing. That's the software. So we are going to use the best land survey app there is, the AppBlot Survey Wizard, which you can download either on the Google Play Store and of course as we are going to win with the iPhone on the app. No! Yeah, on the App Store. Just type in AppBlot Survey Wizards and download it for free. Let's go to a point and measure a point. I have to walk a bit careful because this iPhone is a bit strange. We have RTK here so we can measure a point with centimeter accuracy with the tablet. And now we do it on the same position with the Android phone. And we have to turn and then we can do the same with the iPhone. We measured now one point on the three different devices. And for sure Samsung will win. Let's go to the second point. Here looks nice. With the castle in the background. Let's measure a point again, here as well, and then I have to hold it straight, otherwise it's not fair, and there is a point as well. So to make sure the wizard, Mr. Hanno, is doing the correct thing and he's not cheating, I'm going to do the same. So, walk a little bit with on this side. Okay, I'm going to measure a point with the GPS watch, keep it a little bit steady and straight, and pressing survey. I'm going to do the same with the lousy Android Samsung. I think I measured the point. Hopefully. And I'm going to do the same with the very nice iPhone. Okay, next point. Walk a little bit further this side. And I'm going to do the same again, but this time I will start using the iPhone first. Keep it a little bit straight, survey a point, and again on the Samsung, and again on the GPS professional kit. Let's see which of the three is more accurate and which has and who has lost this bucket challenge. To do so, we will save all the data that we mapped at this moment. To do so, you go to the file menu, click on save, and what we want to save is a CSV file. So we select CSV with point number X, Y, Z and layer name. Then we select a folder, we create a folder and we say Ray gets wet. And then we select this folder and we give it a name. This time it's the tablet that we're saving from. And we click OK and we click OK. And that we will also do for the Samsung phone and for the iPhone. Let's go to the result. So Hanno is calculating the differences between the iPhone, which is definitely going to win, and the uh, lousy Samsung Android Galaxy A something more. And he's calculating really good. I can see the sweat is on his forehead. I think he thinks, oh my God, I get a bucket full of water over my head. And there it is, the final answer. What is going to be the result of the uh, bucket challenge? Ta -da. Ta -dum, ta -dum. It was a very interesting contest. We measured four points and the difference between the deviation between the Samsung and the tablet and the iPhone and the tablet was only 10 centimeters. The average deviation of the Samsung was 2 meters and 41 centimeters. And the deviation of the iPhone yeah. of Ray yeah. was 2 meters and 52 
centimeters. That means I win. <laughs> that means he loses. And that means something else. So here is rain and here is the bucket of water. Let's see how he enjoys this. Yeah. Don't run, don't <laughs> run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it was my <laughs> His hair looks very well. <laughs> if you like this video, then you will for sure like this video.